Hey there friends, how's it going? My name is Kevin and today we are playing The Sims 4. Now, we have a bit of a plan today. We're gonna build a proper gym house with a proper dungeon. No more of this luxury stuff. And I mean, I know this place is a desert, but really it should have more life than this. I've killed everyone. All right, we're gonna go into the house and just collect a few personal items first, and then we're gonna move out and build a new one. Grab that urn. We're gonna need that. Oh my god, all my paintings. I'll leave one just for the next owners. Like, use the strongest adhesive known to man to stick it on the wall. Oh, yeah, I forgot. I've been stealing stuff from the neighbors, so my inventory actually has quite a few things. And these stone tables that I took from the ruins. I'm just gonna leave that room like that as well. Okay, Okay, I think that'll do. I want to go over to my graveyard as well and grab the graves, even though I'm pretty sure I'll still be able to go there, but um, I just want to do it just in case, because that would that would break my heart if I lost those. I invited Yusuf here, but I don't think he'll come. I invite Yusuf every time because he hates me and I want to kill him, but he never comes. <laughs> Look, Yusuf would rather not come. All right, leave the bodies, just take the gravestones. Wait, I want to see him speed run this job. <laughs> <laughs> he does a little laugh after he's after collecting all of them. Oh, what a wild life I have, he says to himself. I kind of want to have a work from home situation where I have a graveyard at, at the new house. Be funny with BJ. BJ's dead. You're not going to see him anytime soon. Move out household. I'm really curious as to how much I'm actually going to get. Any owned businesses will be sold with their value and retail fund balance returned to the household. Yeah, I'm okay with that. God, that vet didn't last too long, did it? Ugh, that was a menacing little tune it played. Now this is a cheery place with lots of life. They have 381,000 simoleons? Okay, I think I can go big on this one. I'm trying to picture the real estate advert for that and how they got so much money. It's like reasonably sized house, up and coming neighborhood, large basement with cells to imprison your foes. You know what? This this lot might do. I think it'll be okay. <laughs> My little description. Jim loves his new life with his new family and is glad he was adopted. <laughs> I can't even remember doing that. This is a really nice driveway. This is really cool, actually. I love it. The lot looks a bit smaller than I'd hoped. All right, let's get started. I, I try not to include too much building because I know that's not what the series is about. All right, we're getting there. We're getting there. I always find the roof such a struggle. This is why my childhood dream of being an architect would have never worked out. As time went on, I started to realize there were many reasons why my dream of being an architect would have never worked. The main one being I'm absolutely terrible at designing houses. This has got to be the weirdest looking house I have ever built. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> I'm just kind of placing things wherever they land. All right, I think I've got the basic outline of the house now. So we're going to have kitchen, dining room, hallway, entrance to dungeon, bathroom. Yeah, that's entrance to dungeon. <laughs> Regular old house, you know. Okay, those pots and pans are too high for any human to reach. <laughs> Little picture of BJ over the fireplace to remember him. Wait, unbreakable? Yes, please. Everything breaks on me. This will be perfect. It's really starting to come together and I'm only... <sighs> An hour older. I just remembered why I had a graveyard off my lot. It was because the ghosts kept annoying me, wasn't it? I guess I could build a little fake one just for aesthetics. Yeah, that should do. It's not really enough, as shocking as that sounds, but it should do. All right, I think I, I've done all I can do in one day. This has been like an hour and a half doing this whole house. I didn't want to show you too much because I figured it would be boring, but uh, here, here we go with the tour. Okay, this is it from the outside with the roof over the graveyard by accident. Uh... Ah, uh, so I need to do the garden and stuff, but we got this is the house. It looks extremely weird. I'm missing feckin' stuff up here. This is the worst Cribs episode ever. I did his little room. He's got his balcony. He's got a feckin' grandfather clock. I need to put a picture of him up there, actually, now that I think about it. Down here, I kind of got lazy because there wasn't anything exciting to do. So this is like the rec room, but it's empty. Down one more floor, and this is where it gets fun. But you'll notice there's a lot of bookcases here. That's because all of them are doors. I'm going to have to lock them all, and I left a little gap so that the doors can go through. But one of them actually goes through to the dungeon area. 
So this is much more dank than the one they had before. We get the entrance here, which only Jim will be able to go into. Everyone has a cell, which is just a coffin and a toilet. So this is the bathroom. It's just a shower because they already have toilets. So that's all it is. And they also just have a chain link fence. I figure it can also be like solitary. If they're misbehaving, I can lock them in there for a while. I have a breadstick in my inventory. That must be in there for fucking years. That's probably outlived half of my Sims. I don't remember putting that in there. And who needs a mirror when you got another picture of Jim Pickens? <laughs> It'll work for Jim, I guess. Uh-oh. That's not what I meant to do. I said I was done building and yet here I am putting ivy on this whole wall. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to dress it up a bit, okay? It looked too boring. Wait, how come if I give the house a foundation, the gate also gets a foundation? Or the fence gets a foundation, I should say. How <laughs> silly of me. Oh, I am a hoot. Okay, Jesus Christ, I need to stop. I just, I get so carried away when I'm doing these things. I, didn't, I wasn't even doing the inside. I just wouldn't stop doing the outside. I need to take a break from that now. Okay. Well, we're in a new neighborhood, and we have to start going out getting slaves immediately. I'm gonna save it. I don't want to lose that. <laughs> he looks so small in there. The walls are so high. <laughs> Wait, why did he dislike him when he went to hook him? What the hell is wrong with you? What did you do? Look, he's using that little decorative pool. You go, Jim, you go. Look at this spot. It's probably like the nicest spot you could get. And I built this like haunted shack on it. Come on, Yusuf, come with me, please. Oh, <gasps> he came with me. Holy crap. Oh, Jesus. I want him to become a vampire and then I want to kill every other vampire. So only I will be immortal. <laughs> it's not good enough that I'm immortal. No one else can have it. All right, I can't get him to my house, but I can get him to space. See you later, buddy. I hope you don't get impregnated. That was sarcasm, by the way. Oh my god, what is this beast? I swear I see her all the time, and I don't understand what's going on with her. Come on, Jim. Impress her. Okay, cancel, 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 cancel. Bad idea, bad idea. Please get off the piano. Oh, not this again. What the hell? Oh, yeah, that's him coming back. If I could get him to my house, I'd totally make him a prisoner, but I just don't think he'll go for it. A sleepover sounds great. Yeah, you can call it that. <laughs> All right, everyone's just gathering in this room now. I choose you, mustache man. I like your mustache. This must be incredibly awkward, like he was just flirting with her. Now he's flirting with him. A sleepover sounds great. All right, let's all go, folks. Oh my god, he actually came. Okay, let's get to work. And Jim, you get this guy. Jim? Jim, where are you going? He's running off to go to bed. He's like, oh, I almost forgot. And hurries off to go sleep. Boast about family? Well, dude, why would you even do that? There is nothing to boast about, trust me. Tim Pickens? Well, it's been a long day. I'm gonna grab a drink. Do you wanna come with me? You know what? Ghost of my former son? No thanks. Wait, what? She just disappeared. I'm having a bit of a personal emergency and I have to leave. She's gone. Okay, fair enough. Ask to move in. Yeah, sure. I'll move in with your guy who doesn't wear pants and I just met tonight. Okay, this person's asking me to go to the gym and she is also dead. You know what? I'm gonna say yes this time. Who doesn't want to be spotted by a ghost? Eh, better than being spotted by that guy in prison break anyway. Hey, I know I killed you, but wanna flirt? Okay, that's flirting apparently. She went to sleep. I don't think this is quite the workout I was hoping for. Why is this person shouting? at me. I don't need your help. Look how buff I am. Stop. I wonder if other people can see her or if it's just me. Okay, now I really hope that she can actually see this ghost. <laughs> I mean, it's kind of awkward anyway. I'm kissing someone that I already killed. Oh, they're taking little selfies. Now they're dating, apparently. Don't tell Grim. All right, they're like madly in love after this one gym session. Gym session. <laughs> That's his name. Ask about being dead. <laughs> Is that a bit insensitive? Ask for small loan? Sure, ask. Oh, she gave me 500 bucks. Nice. Okay, she can hang out for a bit. Let's go back to my place and see if she can move in. I don't know if the jail cell will be able to hold her, though. God damn it, she's not here. Let me try ringing her. How come they always ring me, but I can't ring them? This is some bullshit. There we go. He's popping into his bed. Perfect. <laughs> it's like a bad episode of Scooby-Doo. Oh no, that sounds wrong. Grimy, come on over. And this person that I want to become my prisoner. Remove your disguise, human. I want to see the real you. 
Hey, how are you knocking on the door? <laughs> the door was open. There was nothing there. No use of you're not going anywhere. You come back here right now. He must have saw humans' true form. Discuss human foods. <laughs> Explorab, get so dumb. Ask to move in. Come on, take the bait. Ignore the fact your mortal enemy lives here and he's tried to kill you and get you pregnant. Uh, yeah, especially ignore that part. Grim, what do you look like without your cloak on, actually? I don't think I actually know. Oh, no, you're, you're just going straight in. <laughs> Wait, who's this? I don't know who you are. You can stay there. There we go. We got him in there now. What do you want? You want a litter box? Okay, sure. Yeah, I kind of forgot to buy that. I was busy putting ivy all over the house. Okay, let's go become a vampire. However, I guess we're not wanted here. Of course you're not wanted here. I didn't invite you. We'll visit the big man himself. I think I have a big portrait of him in my feckin' living room, actually. Uh, hello? Name's Jim Pickens. Is anyone here? <laughs> Attempt to swipe. Yeah, take it, take it. Yes, that's probably going to be worth a lot and it'll suit my house. Hello, is anyone here? Oh, he has also got a basement. Okay, this guy's got the creep factor. Rude introduction. Mine is like a dungeon, but this is this is just creepy, man. He is really not liking me for some reason. Let's to go for the flirting. I'm good at that. All right, stop hissing at me, dude. Okay, now he's singing. Yeah, I just gotta keep telling them jokes. He's loving them. <laughs> He's coming to sit with me now. Tell me more of these jokes. Hey, it's me. Is it me? Do you want to come to my party? I guess? I'll bring my new friend. Oh, look at him all dolled up. In fact, actually, he's wearing the same thing. He just put a hat on. Oh, how romantic. Ask to be boyfriend. <laughs> God, this has been a busy day. Wait, you came here for your birthday? Why- why would you think that's okay? You called me to ask me to go to your birthday, and I tried to invite my friend, so you came to his house. Awesome. Now, can you make me a vampire? Hey, wake up, dude. M make me a vampire. Come on. Happy birthday to me. She's like downstairs somewhere aging up. <laughs> ask to turn. Perfect. That'll just ask him to turn around for a second so that I can get changed because I'm a bit embarrassed. Oh my god, he's in his vampire stuff. No, no, no. You look horrible, dude. Get away from me. Okay, whatever you're into, dude. All I know is you are not attractive anymore. <laughs> You don't feel too good, do you? Yeah, here's my other friend. That's for lying to me about your appearance, punk. Don't ever catfish me or my son ever again. <laughs> He's playing him a little farewell song. I'm surprised I'm still allowed to be here. No one owns this lot now. Ooh, that's fancy. Take that. Now take that. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna turn into a vampire in a few days. I better get home. Thanks for coming, Jim. I guess it was a decent party. Hey, you were the host in the other guy's house for some reason. But it's got nothing to do with me. I just got turned into a vampire and killed someone. <laughs> Greetings, child. My ancient plasma since you've recently been turned. It will take a few days to fully change into a vampire, but fear not. The night awaits. Got it. Becoming a vampire takes a few days. Thanks, guy I just killed. Use of checking if he has cell reception. Like, please. <laughs> and he's singing to you in the shower. You've heard of singing in the shower, but have you heard of being sung to in the shower? What? What do you want? Oh, no one told me I'd have to care for a pet if I got one. What's that noise? Oh, it's use of singing. Jesus. Number of days lived, 134? How did he get so old? I like to put it in perspective. It's 10 days to become an adult to an elder, pretty much. I hope he's immortal. Or I could make him immortal when I become a vampire. That's the perfect plan. Then he'll suffer in there for the rest of his life. Alright, on that cheery note, I'm gonna end the episode. I hope you guys enjoyed. Next time we'll actually become the vampire and see what havoc we can cause. But for now, I will say farewell. Thank you for your support. I appreciate you very much. Bye for now. <laughs>